Hi there! Welcome to my channel, Humble Hus. Thank you for being here. This is the sun hat that we'll be making today. I have the same sun hat in a different video, but for little ones. So if you want to do a matching one, go check that one out. Uh, it's a green one with a pink bow, but for now, let's get started. I will be using this raffia yarn. It is by Knit and Crochet. I have mentioned this before, this isn't the best raffia yarn that I've used, um, but it works fine and it was on sale. So it is a medium four weight and the recommended hook size is a five millimeter or a size H. Um, the colors on this are cream and black. I will be using a four millimeter crochet hook so I am going to downsize. That's just my preference. You can you know you can use a 4.5, a 5, 5.5. Um, I don't know why I just like to go a little smaller on this specific type of yarn. You will also need a yarn needle at the end to thread in those loose ends. Some scissors. If you like to use stitch markers, I just cut these cute ones from the Daiso store. I have not tried them out, so we'll see how these work. And you will need a ruler or a measuring tape, whatever you have on hand. Just a heads up, in this video I will be using some of the footage from the video that I did for uh, the same hat in the smaller sizes, just so that you're not confused as to way why is she using green yarn when she was just showing us a different one. So I will be going back and forth just so that you know um, that you will see some parts of the video with the other yarn, which is the green and the pink. We start by making a magic ring. So take the yarn and the loose end, you will loop it around behind the yarn then hold it with your middle finger and your thumb like so insert your hook and as you're pulling up a loop you're gonna twist it and then take the yarn well hold on to it <laughs> not like me and chain one this does not count now we will start doing single crochets. We need seven of them. So insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through those two loops. After this first single crochet, you will want to add your stitch marker. Just be careful. Like so. so that, that was our first one. We do six more single crochets into the ring. Now we pull on this uh, loose end to form a ring. Like that. There's your ring. Now we will work our first single crochet into the stitch where the stitch marker is. So take this out. Insert your hook and do a single crochet. Add your stitch marker. And now do another single crochet into that same stitch. Into the rest of the stitches, repeat the same thing. So these are basically increases where you do two single crochets into the same stitch. When you're done with those, you will have a total of 14 single crochets. Let's say you remember and you'd have to count. This is where you start. That's why it's useful to have the stitch markers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six so far. 
join where the stitch marker is so take that one out and do your single crochet in there add your stitch marker this next stitch you will do an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch the next one you will have one single crochet then again an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch repeat this pattern you will have a total of 21 stitches and your last stitch should be an increase that was the end of round three now for round four again join with a single crochet where your stitch marker was the next stitch will be an increase two and two single crochets into the same stitch the next two stitches you will do one single crochet into each stitch the next one will be an increase the next two stitches you will do one single crochet into each and then repeat the pattern until you get to your stitch marker you will have a total of 28 single crochets and your last stitch should be one single crochet on to round five do your single crochet where the stitch marker was the next stitch will also be a single crochet and the next one will also be a single crochet so those first three were single crochets now we get to the increase Again, the next three will be single crochets then an increase go all the way around repeating that pattern until you have a total of 35 single crochets round six take off your stitch marker join with a single crochet add your stitch marker the next stitch you will do another single crochet then an increase into the next four stitches we will do single crochets now we do an increase again into the next four stitches single crochet repeat that pattern until you get to your stitch marker you will have 42 stitches at the end of this round after that last increase still on round six you will have two single crochets left so not four but two on to round seven take out your stitch marker do your single crochet add your stitch marker into the next four stitches you will do single crochets that gives you a total of five with that stitch marker one again into the next five stitches do single crochets and then you do an increase again repeat this pattern until you get to the stitch marker and you will have a total of 49 single crochets now we join in this round eight again with a single crochet we add our stitch marker into the next two stitches do a single crochet that gives you a total of three single crochets including the one with the stitch marker now do an increase into the next six stitches we want to do single crochets into each one now we do an increase again and then we repeat into the next six stitches six single crochets then an increase all the way until you get to your stitch marker and you should have 
56 single crochets. Okay, don't get confused, this is still the same video. Remember, I was just using the footage from the other one. Now, you have finished round number nine. You have 63 single crochets. This is going to be round number 10 that you're starting. We start, as usual, with our single crochet. Add our stitch marker. These aren't bad, really, these stitch markers. Kind of like them. Just easy to put on. So you have that first single crochet and then we need a total of four single crochets into these first four stitches. Now we do one increase into the next stitch and next we work single crochets into the next eight stitches so you need a total of eight single crochets before you make the next increase and that is the pattern for this round and you should have 70 single crochets i will meet you when you're done with that into that stitch we will do our first single crochet so that counts as one and we need a total of nine single crochets into these first nine stitches do your nine single crochets and then do one increase repeat nine single crochets one increase and so on and you will have a total of 77 single crochets if you measure this It's about four and a half inches okay and we need to keep on doing single crochets until let's take this out from the center of the hat you have also four and a half inches so this is for this size of course and you will do that with all the other sizes as well. Whatever you have in diameter from here to here is what you need to have from the center. From the center to the sides. Okay, that is the body of the hat. We will switch colors now. Do not cut this off because we, we will use it for the brim. And all we have to do is pull it up, and since it won't show, it doesn't really matter. First, you will make a slip stitch into the one where the stitch marker is, into that stitch. Like that. Now take your new color. Pull it through. chain one and into, into the one with the stitch marker oh wait a second okay we have to do that again because I left the green yarn on the outside so <laughs> good thing you're watching right here because these are easy mistakes to make so we did the slip stitch then you put the yarn inside take the new yarn the new the new yarn pull up a pull up a loop 
tighten this. Now chain one and into that same stitch with the stitch marker you will do your first single crochet. That's where you will add your stitch marker. There. Okay, so eventually, so you want both, both of these to look into the hat. We will continue doing four rows of single crochet. There will be no increases in these rows. All you do is single crochets. When you come back over here into that last stitch, here, and then you simply join with a single crochet into that, into the stitch with the stitch marker. Okay, so I hope you're okay with me switching back and forth with the two clips, but it's just more convenient to use some of that older footage, especially when you're a mom of a toddler. Uh, it doesn't matter which size that you pick, you will just do four rounds of this. After finishing that fourth row of the other color, in my case the pink color, you can cut off the yarn and then you pull up the green color. Chain one, tighten this as as you can. Now continue into the next stitch, the one with the stitch marker, with a regular single crochet. Like that, take off the stitch marker and add it over here. And don't forget that the two loose ends have to look into the hat. So this was the first single crochet. I'm going to go into that next stitch and do another single crochet. I'm going to work the light colored yarn into this row just so that I don't have to weave in that end later on. <laughs> You're going to go all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. And then for round two and round three of the brim, you're going to do single crochet only. No increases in round two and three. I will meet you after you're done with round number three. Now for round number four, I arrived at my stitch marker. I did a single crochet and added my stitch marker again. This is one. Now you, you need a total of three single crochets, then we do an increase. So there's your three single crochets. Now we do the increase and repeat that pattern of three single crochets into the next three stitches, then do an increase all the way until you get back to your stitch marker. For round number five and number six, you will simply do single crochets. There will be no increases in those rounds. After round six, do your single crochet into that stitch marker. A stitch, add your stitch marker, and now into the next three, do single crochets for a total of four. Now we do an increase and repeat. Okay, 
I am now done with round number 12 of the brim and I am going to close off this hat. So I take out my stitch marker and then instead of doing a single crochet into that stitch, I am simply going to do a slip stitch. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull that yarn through and then pull that yarn through the loop that is on your hook. Now cut off the yarn, then you can yarn over and pull it through to make a really good and stable knot. Then take your yarn needle and on the inside of the hat, whatever's going to be the inside of your hat, just go back and forth. For the bow, you will take the, the pink color, make a slip knot. I know I always do it with my hands, but I just pass it through, hold on to both ends, and pull. And then simply adjust that loop. You will chain 50 chains. Now make sure your chain is straight so that we can then come to this other side and join on that first chain with a slip stitch. Pull it through and then pull it through that one as well. Now into that same stitch we will do our single crochet. After that first round you will join with a slip stitch over here, usual. That and then do your single crochet into that same stitch. Add your stitch marker. Now that we have the bow, we have the hat, we are going to attach the bow to the hat. And here we have the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed making this. Enjoy the sun. Always protect your skin. And I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me here at Humble Us. Bye.